Hi everyone, it's Kelly from Kelly's Bead Boutique. So I've been making and teaching how to make jewelry for a very long time. And one of the comments that I always hear is, you make it look so easy. Well, I think it is, and I wanna show you just how easy it can be. So I'm gonna take some simple parts and some simple techniques and put them together and teach you how to make your very own jewelry. If you wanna see what I'm making today, come and join me. So for our parts today, we're gonna to be using a tassel. I've got a bezel connector. I've got some E6000 glue. I have a textured ring. I have a little rosette button, a six millimeter piece of check glass, two large heavy jump rings, one small heavy jump ring, a balled up head pin, some ball chain and a ball chain connector. And we're gonna be using our regular four tools. So we've got our bent chain nose pliers, our chain nose pliers, our round nose pliers and our flush cutters. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little button, turn it over and I'm gonna use the flush side of my cutters and I'm gonna take off the shank of the button. So now we're just left with a nice little flat piece like this. So next I'm gonna take some of my E6000. Now you wanna use E6000 for this and not GS Hypo because this has a bit more viscosity to it and you wanna have something that is, is um, in technical terms, goopier. <laughs> the other stuff is a little bit too crystalline for this and uh, you may lose the little rosette. So now I don't wanna go crazy and put too much but I do wanna have enough and I'm just gonna place this off camera for a second. So now you can see I've got a nice little blob in the center there. I don't wanna have it too far out because I really only need it right in the center. Now I'm gonna take my button that we've just altered and I'm gonna place it right in the center there and just push down. And you see how it just fits in there perfectly? I figured this one out a few years ago and I've used this on uh, quite a few different projects. So I think it's kind of fun. So you just wanna hold it for three or four or five seconds and then you wanna let it dry for just a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna take our little check glass ball and put it on our head pin and I'm gonna just do a wrapped loop. So I'm gonna take my pliers and place it right on top of the ball like that and take my thumb and push the wire away. Now I'm gonna come in with my round nose pliers and have them so that they're facing the same direction as my body. I'm gonna go about a third of the way up. I'm gonna go up and over and straight down and I'm gonna open those pliers up and rotate them so now they're parallel to the table. I'm gonna pull that little wire back, make sure that's nice and centered and I'm gonna do this up. So these head pins are pretty heavy duty but you might be able to uh, boss that wire around. If not, you're gonna just take your bent chain nose pliers and grab the tip of it and just kind of pull it around. When I get to the top, I like to let go of it. It's a little bit easier. So I'm gonna do three nice wraps, turn that over, use the flush side of my cutters and come in and just do a little trim. And then I'm gonna just give this little burr a little squish down. And then I just kind of tidy everything up and make sure it looks the way I want it to. Okay, so now let's assemble the piece. So now I'm gonna take one of my large jump rings and open that up and I'm gonna place it through the tassel. Now, one of the problems you can encounter is that these are heavy jump rings and this is kind of a smaller hole. And also this is in a tube form and this is in a round form. So they kind of want to um, you know, work against each other. So you get two different jump rings in this kit uh, that are the same size, but sometimes um, they're, they can be just tiny little bits different. So if you're struggling with one of them and can't get it through, turn, try turning it over or try going to a different one because I was having a hard time getting that one in because I, um, this is the second time I've had to film this. <laughs> So the first time I was struggling trying to get that through and I thought, oh, okay, that's not going to work. Then I opened this one up and it pops in there quite nicely. So you never really know with um, metals and things like that why they do what they do. But that's one of the things that I can recommend is just to play around a little bit until you get it where you want it to. So now I am going to place that through my, um, or I'm going to take my ring and I'm going to place it through there. And I'm going to take one end of the connector and place that on there. And now I'm gonna come in with my bent chain nose and my chain nose and just do that up. And I wanna make sure it's done up nice and snugly. All right, see so now it goes on there nicely, but you never know which, you know, sometimes metal just can be silly. It doesn't do what you want it to do. And now we're gonna open up another jump ring and we're gonna go through the top. So I'm just going through the top of that little connector, flip that back up there, and through the top of the ring. 
Okay, so now I made this little decorative piece and when I originally made it, I just hung it off the front, but I never did quite like how it looked. So I'm gonna take one of these small jump rings and I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna go through there and then I'm gonna go through this ring and I find that it just helps give it a little more movement. So sometimes it's just the little things that will change the way that your jewelry looks. And this helps it sort of um, go off to the side instead of being right in front, which is what I kind of liked. And then we're gonna take some ball chain. Now, I've just got a small piece here for um, demonstration purposes, but in your kit, you'll get 30 inches. So that'll give you lots of chain to play around with. So you can either wear it long or you can um, cut it down and wear it shorter. Now, the nice thing about this ball chain is you only need one of these little connectors. So we're just gonna pop one end in. You just kind of pull it over and then we're going to turn it around and grab the other end and pop that in the other side and just pull over and that's as much as you need for a connector so let me just show you the completed piece so there you go there's my completed necklace i hope that you guys really enjoyed this one it will be available in kit form you just go down into the description box underneath the video and it'll have a link directly to my website if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give me a like please leave me a comment because i love to hear from everybody and please make sure to subscribe to my channel i want to thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one